important and interesting topics in the study of fiction is this concept of the unreliable narrator. What is an unreliable narrator and how can you spot one in a text? So on the most basic level, an unreliable narrator is someone with the main voice in a text who also misrepresents what actually happens in the plot. Now, depending on the narrator's background, role and motives, this sort of unreliability could be deliberate or unintentional. So for example, if you have a five-year-old child who doesn't have the first clue about what's going on around him as a narrator, then there is a chance that his or her unreliable narration is a result of unintended ignorance rather than of any sort of deliberate deceit. But on the other hand, if you have a full-grown adult with no obvious mental issues, who just happens to flip-flop from one claim to another, then there is a chance that his or her unreliable narration stems from dishonesty. So how can you tell if there is unreliable narration in a text? So the key here is to pay attention to what the other characters are saying or what the narrator has said earlier on in the text. And so if you realise that what the other characters say doesn't quite square with what the narrator claims, or if you notice that the narrator says something later which doesn't align with what he or she has said earlier, then there is a high chance that we are looking at an unreliable narrator. So of course the follow-up question to that is, how can you tell if a narrator is being deliberately or unintentionally unreliable? And so the key here is to pay attention to the narrator's background, role and motives. So usually, and I'm just speaking in very broad brushstrokes here, but usually if we have a child or someone who's just straight up bonkers or suffers from some sort of amnesia, then there is a chance that the unreliability is unintentional. But on the other hand, if we have a perfectly sane adult um, who just happens to contradict him or herself all over the place, or is someone with a clear agenda about something or a strong bias against someone, then there is also a chance that the unreliability is deliberate. So your ability to spot unreliable narrators in any text is going to be critical for your ability to write great prose or fictional analysis. Um, because as we know, being able to spot unreliable narration is the source of all kinds of irony and being able to see irony in any text is always a meaningful starting point for any discussion of perspective, voice or distance. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you want a detailed comparative analysis on how unreliable narration works in fiction, go ahead and click on the link to the blog post um, down below in the video description, which will take you to my latest post on um, Kazuo Ishiguro's novel Remains of the Day and Vladimir Nabokov's novel Lolita, which are both fantastic novels that feature fascinating unreliable narrators. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and before I forget, Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want more study tips and learning resources on GCSE, A-level or IB English literature going forward. And please leave me a comment below if you have any ideas for future topics that you'd like me to cover in the videos going forward. And I will see you guys very soon. Ciao!